Hello everyone and welcome to the Hirosaki University campus tour. My name is Hayato and I will be your tour guide today. I'm a third year student in the Faculty of Humanities and Social Science and I major in business management. Today I'm going to a tour of the Bunkyocho campus. The first place to show you is here, 50th Anniversary Auditorium. This building hosts both the entrance and graduation ceremonies for graduate students. In addition, the university also uses here for many other kinds of events like presentations or performances by student clubs, special lectures, and academic conferences. Here is a sculpture called Happiness Ring. It was made to commemorate the 60th anniversary of this university. If you count all the dolphins, these are 60 in total to represent the 60 years since Hirosaki University first established. It's one of the best photo spots on campus. Now, let's move on to the next place. This is Hirosaki University's administration building. Take a closer look at the stained glass. Do you notice the cherry blossoms in the design? Moreover, there are five colors in the rainbow coming out of the flowers. These five colors are symbolic to Hirosaki University because they represent the five faculties at the university. If we continue to work this way, we will then come to Hirosaki University Library. This library contains about 830,000 books, and many students use this library to study, research, and do collaborative work with other students. One of the distinct features of this library is a self-study area. This area is decorated with koginzashi, a traditional stitch pattern from the Tsugaru region. Moreover, the pendant-shaped lamps here are beautiful pieces of woodwork made of bunako or beech trees in English, and the Mori Prefecture has the largest beech forest in Japan. We are now on the second floor. This place is called the Active Learning Area. Due to COVID-19, all the desks are arranged for self-study now, but in normal times, we can move the chairs and tables freely and use this place to do our group assignments for classes or meet our circle members. Next, I'll show you one of my favorite places in this library. It recently opened in May of 2021, so it's a very new place. Now we are returning to the first floor and here we are. This place is called the Academic Commons. It includes many rooms that help inspire students to read books and interact with each other. For example, we have this refreshed space, which is the only place you can enjoy eating and drinking in this library. Next, here is a reading room which has a relaxing atmosphere, so it is very good for reading. Finally, this is the Global Square, which has books for learning English, a space for doing presentations, and provides students opportunities to better understand different cultures. Okay, that's all of my tour of Hirosaki University Library. Now, let us exit through these doors and head to the next place. This is the Faculty of Education building and is the oldest building in Hirosaki University.
The next place is Shiosaki University Museum. These are some exhibitions about the history of university and results from studies conducted by the various faculties and graduate schools are also on display. Sometimes there are also special exhibitions displayed for a limited time. Now, if we continue the tour, we come upon gymnasium number one. This is mainly used for ball sports, uh, like basketball and volleyball. We can see another gym, that's gymnasium number two, and it's mainly used for gymnastics. Its shape looks like Mount Ubaki, which is the symbol of the city of Hyosaki for local people. On clear day, you can view Mount Iwaki from the gym. This is the Faculty of Science and Technology Building number one. You can also see building number two over there. That is the tallest building in this university. There is a sports field in front of the building number 2, which is used for PE classes and club activities. Here is the Faculty of Agriculture and Life Science building. These are various facilities surrounding this building in order to conduct experiments. For example, in front of the building, there is a small piece of farmland for rice and soybeans where faculty members and students can carry out various experiments. In addition, there is a field for vegetables, and over there, university staff members are raising sheep. Here is a small area of land for researching about apple trees. Faculty members and students grow different varieties of apples, including varieties created originally at Hirosaki University. This building was constructed for the 60th anniversary of Hirosaki University and named Korabo Hirodai. Inside there are some laboratories for the science and technology and agriculture and life science faculties. In addition, the Hiyosaki University Rental Laboratory rents out laboratory rooms to students who want to start their own business or to companies that are conducting joint research. This is the Information Technology Center. It is equipped with computers for educational purposes and classes such as information science and computer seminars are held here. From now, we are going to show you another area. Let's go back to the Science and Technology Building. On your right hand, you can see the Faculty of Humanities and Social Science building. There is an inner code over there, but it's difficult to see it from here. Kiyosaki City is famous for its cherry blossoms, and these are many cherry trees in this inner code, so students and staff can enjoy the brilliant cherry blossoms in the springtime. We have a convenience store named Serge, which is run by a university cooperative. Next to it, 
there is a university cafeteria. Let's go and see. There are about nine centers. At one time, it's very crowded with many students. My favorite meal here is the Saba Misoni. It is called makro, a type of fish, with miso flavoring, a Japanese soy meat paste. I love it because it doesn't cost so much and it tastes really good with rice. On the second floor, there is another restaurant called Skolum. Here, students and staff enjoy some popular dishes like pasta and curry and rice. This place is University Center. On the second and third floors, we have facilities including meeting rooms, Japanese style room with tatami, and music rooms. They are open for student circle activities. On this first floor, there is a university cultivated bookstore, Sharia. You can buy books, items for daily life, and some souvenirs of Hyosaki University. Next, let's go inside the general education building. There are many lecture rooms, and almost all students use this building in their campus life. This is a career center. This center provides Hiyosaki University students with career consulting and job fair information. If a student needs some job-related information or has some problems with job hunting, the staff here will be happy to help. Now we are on the second floor of General Education Building. This office is the Department of International Education and the Collaboration Support Office. Now, as we walk down this hallway, we will approach the English lunch on your left hand. You're probably wondering what the English lunch is. Well, it is a place to obviously learn English, but also a place for students to gain a deeper understanding of foreign cultures and build relationships with international students. The last place to visit is Hyodai Cafe. You can enjoy delicious coffee and cakes here. The building of this cafe was built in the Taisho period from 1912 to 1926 and it was an accommodation for teachers from overseas. With its retro modern appearance, it was designated as a national tangible cultural asset and one of Hiyosaki City's important scenic buildings. The area around the cafe is called Osamu Dazai's Small Memorial Park, which was made in 2019 for the 70th anniversary of Hiyosaki University. Osamu Dazai is one of the most famous authors in Japan. His masterpiece No Longer Human is very well known throughout the country. He was a student of Hiyosaki High School in the pre-war system. This high school was a procedure of Hiyosaki University. There is an image of the Zai when he was a student, a literary monument, and a small sculpture of the Zai relaxing on the chair. This place conveys the deep relationship between Hiyosaki University and the Sam Zai. Well, this ends the campus tour of Hiyosaki University. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hiyosaki University is a great place to enjoy campus life and complete your studies in a calm atmosphere surrounded by historical places and beautiful nature. I hope you gained a deeper understanding and appreciation of Hiyosaki University through this video. Thank you for watching and we are looking forward to seeing you at Hiyosaki University! Bye bye!